Well, hello, hello, hello. Sorry, I am a couple of minutes late. Things got crazy here at the last minute, just trying to get things set up. My switcher wasn't cooperating quite right, so I apologize about that. And it took me longer to decide tonight what I was going to do. I kept going back and forth on my projects. So, anyway, let's move on. We will... I need to check to see if this is working properly. And if you're on, please let me know you're here. And like, share, and comment today's image. And sorry about that. I've got to shut my phone down. I just realized I didn't do that yet. But let me put the image on the screen. We are going to use the Happiness is Homemade. And if you'll just give me a minute, you can look at that. I've used it before. There's lots of fun things that can be done with that. So, oh, and it went to some game thing. It never does that. So, hold on just a minute. I apologize about that. I do not know what's going on here. I'll get, see if I can't get out of this game. I don't even play these games. Oh, that's crazy. Now let me see if I can sign. No, it still wants to do the game thing. So give me just a second to figure this out. I apologize about that. As I do not want to play it. It's wanting me to play. All I want to do is get out of it. <laughs> Michelle, you're so it must be working. I'm going to restart my phone real quick, see what happened. And because I'm having a hard time with getting it situated here. And let me see if I can share this real quick to my group. Sorry about the, the confusion. I still don't know how it went on the game thing because I never even play them. So... Technical difficulties, all this, all this problems, but welcome, Michelle, welcome, welcome. Glad you're joining in. Now it's going just to my Facebook. So... I will Boy, it is being different tonight. Let's see. Okay. Now I'm getting it. It's I don't wonder if they changed some things tonight cuz it looks different on how I'm even having to share it. So, hey, who knows? One more share and then we'll move on. Oh, 
Okay, now I've got it shared. Sorry, everyone. That's crazy. Hi, Nancy. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate you doing that. That helps me out. In fact, I don't know, but I had a new follower last night. So, people are finding it. So, that's what I need. That's what's going to get this going if you share. So, share on your timeline. Share to a group you might be in. Whatever you can do to share it, that would help me out. So, I do appreciate that. And it's always fun to get new followers. That means they're liking my stuff. So, anyway... So we did have the happiness is homemade. We're going to do the jar again, but we're doing an Irish setting. And then we are going to use the vintage truck add-ons. So we are using the clover in that. Then I did forget to get this other one. I forgot. Got to get this other set, but we are using a new set, and I'll show you that when on the table, but it is called Handwritten Font. It looks like the Ray Dunn handwritten font that's on all the pottery that's real expensive, so it's a fun new one. So I'll show you that, and... We can get started. Yeah, I think that's exciting that I'm getting new people following and getting people, you know, a few th things going. And I've had a few orders, so here and there. So it's, it's getting started. So let me... So welcome, welcome. And sorry about all the confusion. We will get started. And so tonight's project we're going to use this Amazon board. I don't know if you guys remember. I didn't I was going to go grab the box again. I should have just brought the box, but it comes in a plastic box. And if anybody's interested, send me a message. I need to get a link I, I may have the link to this on my YouTube, but I could add this to my YouTube. These are not quite as nice as the others, I don't think, because they don't have the tall base, and I haven't seen any ones, so I still really like our tall based ones, our board and base, but this was a fun, it's still fun, and an inexpensive one to do. The St. Patty's theme. The chalkboard's both sides, so that part's good. So, you never know, though, because I opened another package that I bought some from Amazon, and the back side of them is kind of junky on one set. So, and I thought they looked fine in the package, but, so you never know. I just know ours are good quality. The ones that Chalk Couture carries. So we're going to use the jar again. And we are going to use the four leaf clovers down in here. And then I don't know if I'm using any of the little, little extra ones. I've got them here if we need them. And here is the cute handwritten font. Now it comes like like that and then this one's at the bottom. So I cut it in thirds. Now there's another way you could cut each letter apart. Then you have all these letters floating around. But then you can put it on our backer sheets that we carry that are eight and a half by eleven that you can buy separately and 
and put them back on that. But instead of wasting your paper, let me show you what you do. And I've already lifted it up and cut through there. So I'll just lift up through this M here. Let me just get it get a hold of it or just do it down here. It doesn't really matter. But you just put your scissors, you lift up a corner, put your scissors through there, and just cut right on that line. And then you're not cutting your paper and that way you have something to put your images back onto so you could do that with a lot of your images even and I didn't do that in the beginning but Sometimes these smaller ones, it's they're easy to get lost. So I've learned that if you can just get stuff right back where it goes, that's great. So I'm going to use the Luck L U C K out of this, and it's going to go at the top here. So let me. You, let me put this back on the vintage truck add-ons for a second. I'm going to look in my container here. I forgot. I need, I need my tape real quick. And I think it's right here, but... With all the redoing of my room... Probably not going to be here. And I'm not seeing it. Well, we'll I'll just try and... Let me check a couple of drawers real quick. But I'll just try and be careful. So, and I don't know where it went. And I was going to grab that and then I forgot before I even got started. So, I've just got to get this finished. Okay, so we'll just get back to the table. We'll see what we can figure out here without it. If I see it in the meantime, I do have duct tape, but that... That's going to stick too much. Unless I make it so it's not very sticky. And I may could do that. I could fuzz that on the towel. Let me try that. We'll fuzz that on the towel. And I'll just get two or three pieces of that. And make it not so sticky. It just needs to go across the bottom of your jar here if you remember what we did before so and when I placed my order the other day I was going to order this placement tape it's not real expensive it's a little bit like washi tape but I've yet to find my washi tape since we moved so I don't know where that's at and I have a teeny bit that I've, a couple of things that I've bought. Welcome, welcome, Erica. Thanks for joining. So, this will help. Sorry about me looking for the blue tape, but I thought it was right here. So... 
Okay, now normally we fuzz this, but this one's been fuzzed. If you're new on, you would take this and you would fuzz it on your fuzzing cloth. I'm getting the fuzzing cloth. This is just a towel. If you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can use a regular hand towel and fuzz it that way. You need to fuzz it three to five times. But especially for this project, three would have been fine. Now another thing, sometimes when you get these other surfaces, it's better to wax them. I can't remember if I waxed this or not, but we're not going to wax it. I There's not tons of layering, so I'm hoping we'll be okay. Now I'm going to move this up because I want to have a little bit of a green bow down there. So I'm going to try and get it more towards the top. And I have, let me grab my ruler and we will see if I need to move it over or if I'm good. No, well, I'm actually right on, so we're good enough. So what you want to do is you want to, hi Esmeralda, thanks for joining. That's so exciting you're on here. I haven't seen you or talked to you in a long time. How fun. Welcome, welcome. So, anyway, you just want to make certain your bubbles are out. So, yeah, I think Esmeralda will remember me. We had some fun together. So, I'm going to use, I'll show you the colors. I'm going to make my jar this gold color. So our new shimmer gold and then for the clovers I have the parakeet and the green envy they look a little bit alike but they are this is still lighter and I'm gonna do kind of a shading on them and then I thought I would do Oh, I don't know where my white went. Let me grab it. I thought I had it in here. Oh, I do. I covered it up. So, I'm going to use the white for the luck, I think. So, that will stand out. So, those are my colors. And then I'll show, what I, show you what I've done to my board. I used the Tim Holtz Distressed Ink. This board was just kind of a brownish light color. Nothing real exciting. And I just thought, well, this would give it some color. So I used the Twisted Citron. That's this green, lighter green one. I went with that first. And then I grabbed the Mode Lawn. And I just dabbed some ink on it here and there. In fact, this is making it a little darker now. It's had time to soak in. So now you can see it's adding just a little bit more color here and there. So, I've used inks on woods before, so like this, I figured it would take it. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, I knew you'd remember me. So, anyway, so that's a fun way to, I could have painted it. I thought about painting it, but this was just fast and easy to grab real quick. So, that just gets a little color to the board. And it's just going to be... Oh, thank you, Esmeralda. I'm glad you could make it. So, I'm anxious. Erica bought some of the new bee stuff, the bee collection. And I'm anxious to see her creations when she gets that done. So, I'm excited for that. So, this is the small squeegee. We're just going to grab the small squeegee. And, I was going to say, this has been open. It has been difficult to open. So, this is the gold, shimmer gold. And that's what I decided to do the jar in. To get the lucky gold color. And this little one should be plenty big enough to get and you can always add more and scrape off. Now, I've used this jar a lot already, as a lot of you know that. Just trying to make certain it's pushed down in, in there good. I'll put the excess back in the jar. Then I'll put my lid back on and we will peel this up. You don't want to leave it on too long because if it dries, then it pulls funny. You want to kind of lift side to side or in the middle. It's better to go straight up. If you go towards you, your transfer will curl. So better to just try and go straight up. Now that turned out good. I must have had a one tiny little air bubble, but I can take my Q-tip here. Um, I can look, Erica. If not, I have one I can sell you. On the unicorn. I can't remember. But I, I'm positive... I have two or three unicorns, so if anybody's interested, just let me know. So this is, that turned out really good. Now, I, if you guys remember, I talked about how the cold iron I found out was better. By some people say that. Some people still don't use cold iron. I think it made a difference. I guess I'll find out in time. This wasn't very expensive. It was like $15 on Amazon. I did a lot of research. There were some that were about $30. This is called Con Fu. So, and I can get a link to that too. But it does blow out cold air. You have to push the second, your cold airs down here. Got it kind of backwards now, everybody. So your cold air is down here. To turn it on, you just do the middle button. If you want hot air or higher, you want it to blow higher, you got to do that. But I just like the middle setting. It is a heavier blow dryer. That was the only thing I was worried about.
especially with my fibromyalgia and I don't like heavy stuff but but I still think it's it's not too bad as far as being heavy so it could be worse So we have that. So now I'm going to have to. See, normally I would use the blue tape. So. But I'm just going to have to. Since I fuzz this, I think we'll be okay. So. If I need a couple of more pieces, I can get that. You want to cover up your bottom because you don't want to go over that part. And we can always paint a spot or two. So, I'll be glad when my room's back together. And it doesn't help when, like I yesterday I had the allergy shots and today I had sinus issues really bad. So, right from my, just the allergy shots and everything. So, sometimes it doesn't make me feel that good for a few days. But I'm on the heavy dose stuff now. Where they give you more than you want to be getting <laughs> but hopefully it'll help yeah so Erica I'll look and let you know the unicorn is way cute so I'm gonna fuzz my tape again because I think I need to go up the sides a bit with it. But the actual blue masking tape works great. And as, as soon as I get off here, it'll be just right here on top of me probably. <laughs> That's always the case. When you want something fast. So. This is probably the worst part of the whole thing tonight. Is just taping that good because you don't want. You don't want your stuff to peel up there. Plus you're overlapping. So, we'll, this is our image. I've already written on the back. You need to write on the back so you know where to put it back on to. Which one? You get a zillion of these sitting around and you don't know what they go to if you don't write on them. I've already had a few that way because I didn't take the time to write. So, in organizing... It's, I realize it's better just to stay on top of writing on them. So we'll fuzz this about three times. And then you could move this anywhere on here that you want. I think I'm going to actually do it about there because it gets that clover off to the side a little bit. But I think that's cute. So I don't know if there's... I guess that's just part of how that clover's made. Just checking to, 
It looks like I need to move it down slightly. If I move it down, I won't have to maybe paint in so much. So that's the other thing you can kind of watch for when you're putting that on. Oh, and you're welcome, America. So, anyway, so this is the one I'm going to use the two green colors on. Now, this is the parakeet, never been used. So, I will get this, we'll get this open and Stir this up. I think this is a going to be a fun new color. This is brand new in the catalog. Actually, I think it's one of the end colors. So this is this color is going to be while supplies last, which is probably this catalog only, because they will come out with new in colors for the next catalog. So then you want to take your little stir stick, and I'll show you those again. Hi Cheryl, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. So here's these these are the new stir sticks that Chalk Couture started carrying. The price is good on them. And especially you, a lot of times you have to stir your paste. You needed a yogurt like consistency. And this one actually is pretty good. If it's not, you just take, and I still may just add a couple of spritz I can show you. This is my Distress Sprayer, Tim Holtz. I love this. You can use any kind of sprayer, but you want distilled water in it. I just like the, the type of spray this sprays out. So you can do a couple of sprays in it. And mix it up and it just tell you get the consistency you want so we can just leave that in there I'm gonna grab my squeegee here that I used I could grab a new one but it's if you clean it right off you can get away with not having a whole bunch of these unless you you want a whole bunch of them so let me get this going too because I actually was going to try and and layer it. So let me grab another little squeegee here. Now see how that looks thicker? That's too thick. Even though I added water, I try and add, I didn't when we closed that gold one, but I add, usually add about five sprays of water and then close the lid. And usually it keeps it pretty moist. But it's lower, so. And I don't know, I haven't used this that much lately. This was a Christmas color we used quite a bit at Christmas. So if you're new on, please like, share, and comment. I would love to have you do that as soon as I can get this room together and I've been doing a couple of things on my YouTube stuff but I I do want to get contests going where I will be giving away prizes so you definitely will want to be sharing then and being more a part of commenting and because that's what's going to help get this going and also help me to if you share then it gets 
my business out there. So the consistency is good. So on the bottom part, I, I want the green. I'm going to leave it a little thicker because we're going to... We're going to mix here colors. So that's probably good enough. Now they do look a little similar. And I kind of mentioned that, but I still think this is lighter. So. When you mix colors, you don't want to put them back in the jar the same plus then another way to mix it is get a little water on your hand and then just rub it and that will give a a layered a layered look that fades into each other so that part's good so we'll pull that up and see what we end up with if you pull straight up you're better so see how that looks variegated so hopefully everybody can see that that is fun so I'm going to, well, actually we're probably done with this. Let me, let me get these lids closed here. So you want to clean your edge. Try and get it to the center as much as possible. I've been taking my finger and doing that with it. And then just getting what I can to drop in the center. Usually you just have a tiny, tiny dab left. And we'll do the same with this one. Now the malt, if it's really thick, the multi-tool is good to get down in there and clean it. Now because we're getting ready to close it, I'm going to throw in my sprays. And then I'll put my lids on. And it'll be good to go for the next batch that, when I'm ready to do this again. Now my images, normally you would take these, I'll show you this again. Normally you would take this immediately. If you're near a sink, use our board erasers and the sink and cool to warm water and you would clean that on both sides. Then you'd flip it over on the sticky side, set it on a towel and let it dry and then take a Clorox wipe and clean it on that sticky side so that that the Clorox wipe brings the tackiness back So that's very important to do that That makes your transfer last a lot longer now the silk screen transfers get 10 to 12 uses, but sometimes more on my little Little ones that I used at Christmas time, some of those probably got used 40 times or more. So, I think it just depends on how it gets taken care of. So, I'll hurry and clean these and then we will move on.
So, because I had that thicker, I need to dry this before we do anything else. Now remember, if you're just barely on, it's better to use a cool hair dryer or the cold shot setting. And I found this $15 hair dryer on Amazon and it does have a cool setting so that part's good. So I'm going to peel this. I do see a couple of spots already that I'm probably going to have to touch up with the green and just to just my paintbrush. Oh, but see how well that worked out. Now just right down there. So I will grab the green again and the green that I need to use is the Envy. And just use a fine paintbrush. And we can blow dry this when we're done. So this will just fill right in there. And you won't even be able to tell. So... That's basically all that needs to happen to that. That looks good now. So, let me shoot the hair dryer on it real quick because I don't want to smear it while I'm doing my letters up above. touch it to fill if it's dry and it is it's dry enough so hopefully everybody could see this now these letters I could have tried lucky but hi Deb Deborah how are you doing I don't know if it's my friend Debbie or if it I can't tell who's on if you don't let me know you're here or comment then the only thing I can see is if somebody actually comments so but welcome welcome so I have my friend Debbie that just joined under me if you're interested in joining let me know I would love to have you as a team member and so anyway what I mentioned before was I tried this earlier and I think the only thing I'm going to get is luck on there so instead of putting lucky I'm just going to do luck so now this transfer has and I'm not going to stick it down real tight because I don't want to get it but it does have these little notches here. I think I'm just going to do the bottom ones. Because the other ones kind of go up into the gold. I don't want to have to wash that. So I'll grab my white. My white paste has been a good consistency. And it looks like it still is. So we are just going to. do this and actually my multi-tool will be better for this so 
So this is the multi-tool if you're new. And it has, looks like I needed to clean it slightly better. It's just narrower. It gets in a lot of different areas. My hands are a little green. I guess I should clean them better. But you won't need a lot. And I'm just only going to do the arrow, the little icon on this side. I'm not going to do the other one. This helps you to line it, line it up. So there's your L. And we'll dry this real quick because we don't want Yeah, that cold dries that fast and it's not quite like the heat. So, I think that's helping. So then you just match this, these little icons up here. Let me turn it sideways so I can see what I've got going on here. Not quite, almost. In fact, I'm going to do this, I think. So that got it. So that's just to help you line that up. And there, I think that's where I want it. So we'll do the U. We, I may be surprised in the, I may need the Y. So we'll find that out. Now, some of you may not know, but th this is, I didn't get my little thing there. Hold on. Let me see if I can line the U back up. I just need a tiny mark there. Okay, so that gets your little mark on there. That's all you need. Anyway, this... This font is like the Ray Dunn font. Now that did go a little bit lighter when I set that there. I'm going to place it back on and go over it again. My transfer looks like it, it's okay. So I think when I set it there, it lifted a little bit of it back up. So we'll find out here. That makes it better. And 
I've got one tiny, while I'm drying it, one little spot here. I'm too picky, I guess, that looks like it got maybe bumped when I put that on there, but it's not worth putting the transfer back on. So that fixed that, so that's good. That's why it's good to have your paintbrush handy. That's good. That feels dry. Now this hair dryer comes with two different nozzles. It comes with a little bit shorter, narrower one. I did the longer one. But you can change those in and out. Oh yeah, we might could get the Y on here. We'll have to see. Or I'll have it off to one side and sometimes it's hard to f quite figure it out. And you could space these further apart than Then they're getting to. You could decide that yourself. So, and you just want to. You, you just barely want to put that on there. Because you don't want to. Take your other paint off. So you got to be careful with that. So instead of using the squeegee. I'm just going to. Do this. So, and I'm now I'm not, I didn't worry about that. It's almost just as easy to eyeball it as close as I'm having to get with this. So, yeah, it looks like I'm going to be able to get the Y on there. Earlier, it didn't look like that. In fact, I may should have moved it over a little more, but it's so hard sometimes. So, as I say, I thought I had the K ready. Yeah, so the Y will fit there, so we'll just... I just got to decide how close I need to get this K, which that's probably okay like that. So there's the K. Now since I can't wash those real quick, I'm just putting them on the edge of my cart. You could put them on the edge of your counter, wherever, until you could go dry them. Or clean them, I mean.
getting my <laughs> settings mixed up here. While this is, I'm going to grab my battery pack real quick. It's flashing, but I'm hoping it will work long enough to heat up here. So let me get this on here. I needed to let it charge. We need to get another one, but we haven't yet. They're about $50 for those batteries. So I'm just going to let that heat up a minute. And we will put our Y on. So I did get the Y ready in case we could use it. So it is. All ready to use so I'm actually glad it fit on because I really wanted to do lucky so like I said I could have moved the L over just a little bit maybe but this will still be okay. I'm not going to try and start over or wash it off. It's not worth the efforts of that. So we'll try that. My white is getting a little thick, so I could have added some water to it, but for this little bit, it's okay. So we'll blow dry that, and then I'll show you how to get those little marks off of there. the wrong one so let me get the white shut here I mostly grabbed in the center so I should be able to just spray some water in there and shut that I got a I need to get a new cloth cuz I got so much green going on here. So So I'll get my hands cleaned up good. Oh, thanks Erica. So now I can take my Q-tip, I'll just wet the end of this Q-tip a bit, and I'll just take that white right off. And voila, those little white dots are gone. Now I do have a thought because of the... Let me grab, let me see where our little teeny things went here. This would, this would be like real tiny, but, and maybe that would be all that it needs, but what if we took, let me get my, let me fuzz here real quick, a couple of these. We could either take 
and put that just that real tiny one there so that that kind of makes that look like it was meant to be a little off center or we could do this size So, everybody tell me their opinions here. Or I could do this little bit bigger one up here. I'm thinking the little one. I'm going to go with the little one. Because I don't think I have one in between that size. But this little one. And I'm going to do the parakeet. Because the parakeet's what what we have going on in the variation at the top at the top so and I added that water so I've got to mix it slightly because I don't want it too too runny And I just was thinking, I don't think I added my water to my white. So, just so everybody knows, I keep saying that is important. So, I will open that back up and grab the water. Now, that did peel off just a titch of the white. So, not much. I'm going to be opening the white anyway. So... That's good. I'll grab my paintbrush and and see that sometimes makes a difference if you don't wax your board too. So as to how that peels up. Like I say, I'm still learning. I'm worrying about the big projects I want to do because I hate having problems when I'm going live. So, on some of those bigger boards, I may have to do out in my kitchen and do them standing. So, anyway, yeah. So, here's the white, like... I mentioned, be sure, and because it is getting harder, so it's better just to to do that. That'll settle down in and soften that top layer up and make that more pliable. Yeah, I think this looks cute with the little clover there. It kind of just. Finishes that. Now, one thing I could do because it's showing through just slightly is let me grab my green again and right where that white line is this is just to show you guys what it's because I had all that water on the top here probably too but we're just going to fill this in a little thicker and then I'll blow dry it again That way it's not so see-through-y. And I think that's turned out way cute. I'm thinking this will be fun.
it's dry so how fun so let me get the board so you guys can see that I'm probably gonna go with my narrower ribbon so there's that I think that's way cute oh here's the ribbons I had but this is huge but this I might use tomorrow night I think I'm gonna do a jar tomorrow night or one of my glass things and we'll use this again and maybe not we won't do the jar on it I don't think well it depends on what I end up doing if I use a glass just a glass jar kind of like the candy one and we may go around that just with the clovers so I'm I'll grab one of those and decide what I'm doing but I thought that might be kind of fun we're getting closer to St. Patty's Day so we can maybe get some of these done I like I say I have so many different things I'm wanting to do but so I'm thinking just tie this bow around here and I have I'll show you what I got a couple of days ago I went into Dollar Tree nobody has a lot of um, yeah I think everybody thought the little one so the other one was just too big so these were Dollar Tree I haven't seen much St. Patty's stuff and Hobby had some stuff but their stuff's only been like 30 percent and I just didn't I don't know I just didn't want to pay that much even because their prices was high this this was only a dollar so there's several different ones on here so there's a eat drink and be Irish so that's a cute one there's luck of the Irish kiss me I'm Irish those are upside down the kiss me ones I don't know how well you guys can see these anyway and then there's a happy St. Patty's Day and then there's the U so in fact I could zoom in on this so everybody can hopefully see them if anybody has a suggestion on which one to use I think I'm just gonna tie a little knotted bow around here maybe not do a bow bow this time well and we'll have to do it on this part I guess I did the little knotted bow last night so I'll just cut this about there I think that will work now this is some ribbon I got off of Amazon And then you can just take this and notch it out or put a V in it, whichever you like. Since that's so creased there, I'm going to get rid of that piece. Luck of the Irish, okay. Is 
There it is. Luck of the Irish. Yeah, that will be cute. So I've got the glue gun running. And I will glue that on there. And I'll hold it here a second to get it to dry, but that's, I think that turned out way cute. Way cute project. I could maybe cut my streamers a little shorter, but it's still cute, I think either way. Um, my daughter was begging for some Irish things, so I thought I'd better get started on them. I don't know if she'll come try and get them from me or what she's going to do. I may have to make her a set and me a set. So this one could be really fast. This is an inexpensive project too, just like last night's because these board and bases were not that expensive. Even though I don't like them quite as well, they're, they're still a fun way to, to, you know, use some of your project, for some of your projects. So, get that out of the way so everybody can see the actual project. But thanks so much for joining. Let me talk a minute and then we'll get back to showing this and then we'll end our live. Sorry, it's. I thought this would go shorter, but then I had problems with not having the tape. I need to just be a little more prepared, so I apologize. Anyway, if you think, oh, I love this project, this would be so fun to do what you're doing, then maybe you'd be interested in being an independent consultant for Chalk Couture, and you could join under me. The kit costs. $99 and it is a $240 value. It comes with six silk screen transfers, five pace, um, apron, a catalog, the expensive Aiden frame, a 10 inch round frame, and some note cards. It's a great value for that price. Because actually it values a little bit over $240. So that's a huge savings. So in a three month period you need to maintain $150. If you become a consultant. And if you don't maintain that or buy that much product. Then you are kicked out. Once you're kicked out, you have to wait three months to join again. They also take $20 a month out of an account that you have set up, be it your bank account or whatever. They take $20 out for your website. That covers your website. But then you get the Club Couture every month. And that comes to you free. And the Club Couture is, comes in, I'll show you this. The Club Couture comes in an envelope like this. It's a B-size transfer. And you, we get that free. This month's was O-Snap. And Club Couture can also be for the consultants. Or for the customers, I mean. So the c customers can join this. It's a three month commitment. It's $19.99 a month. And you get the B size transfer and three sample pays. And that just comes to you in the mail. It's a good way to try it out and see if you like it. If you want to be a consultant, then you could do that after you try it. Or if you want to keep getting this after three months, it's just a fun way to try it. 
You're always going to be surprised, though, what you get. We as consultants never know what we're getting each month. So it's a surprise to us also. So that's a, either one of those ways is a fun way to be part of Chalk Couture. And if you think you would just like to be added to, to my VIP group to get some specials, then let me know because I'm getting that going and I ran some specials at Christmas time. I do need to get some specials going again. So let me know if you want to be part of that. I will also be doing some videos in there that will not be published anywhere else but in there. Then if you think, oh, I just would like to order, then my website is chalkcouture.com slash Arlana Patton and there you can um, order anything that's on sale. So usually the most is like a week to two weeks if they're out of stock. So I know we just got tons of those fuzzing cloths in and they sold out the day they put them back in the cart. So everybody was wanting those. So probably another week to two weeks. I haven't checked on the date on when those will be back in. But if there's anything you ever want, send me a message. If I have it, I could send it to you. If not, I can give you an estimated date on when it will be back in stock. So anyway, I appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my project. So, and it's the luck, Lucky Jar. It was Luck Jar, but now it's the Lucky Jar because I was able to fit all that on there. So, I think it turned out way cute. Be fun to start decorating for St. Patrick's Day. Um, that is the day my daughter was born on. So, that's one reason why she's wanting this Irish stuff plus she has some Irish heritage from her husband's side of the family so they really like to celebrate for that day so anyway thanks so much for tuning in tonight hope everybody's doing well and for all the new people that joined in appreciate your coming on and supporting me. Have a good night. Bye.